Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Truth by Billy Bean Special Report. Today's date, December 1, 2022. New, this is my third YouTube channel. I have a subscribe button on the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share on YouTube and Rumble. Okay, China lockdowns and China prep for war. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscriber, Joshua Phillip with Crossroads and Epoch Times, James Neal Cooper, Israeli News Live with Stephen Benoon, Jean Decode, Michelle Felding, New Atlas with Brian Berlick, Pastor Paul Begley and Mike from Around the World, uh, uh, Dr. Jim Willie, Cliff High, Friends, Routers, or Routers, as some people say, and other sources. So let's get to it. Okay. First of all, we're going to talk about these alleged lockdowns inside China. All right. My perspective on this is that it was uh, just a distraction from what China is actually doing. Okay. We've been seeing on the news China lockdowns and oh we have some video we'll put it right out and we saw video uh, joshua phillip had video james Neal cooper had video uh, there's videos from other sources okay did i submit to you was taken in 2020 during the real uh c virus lockdown i don't believe there are lockdowns going on, and I don't believe there are protests going on. I think that was all a a washing uh, by uh, actually the White Hats in uh, saying, look here, but don't look over here in China. So some of the things we saw recently was uh, James Note Cooper and other sources had... Uh, video on foxconn this makes the apple iphones and uh, they were showing the people being taken into buildings all of their clothes and their personal items their phones their purses or anything they had on their body was thrown out the windows and you saw big piles outside the buildings with personal belongings i submit to you that's not recent video it was taken in 2020. now we have this and we have yeah foxconn and in the zinzo plant so we can expect it was put out for propaganda reasons. We can expect a, a shortage of the I, uh, 14 Pro Apple phones this year. And allegedly, uh, there were protests there. And uh, what Foxconn did, they let 20,000 workers they had just brought in uh, who wanted to immediately resign and gave them uh, up to $1,400 each and said, oh, go your way. That uh, really doesn't uh, stack up with what we know about Chinese employers. Okay, now, what really tipped me off on uh, what's going on in China is I had three valued sources uh, all giving out the same misinformation. That was Jean Decode. That was Michelle Fielding. And that was New Atlas. Brian Berlectic. And I'll tell you about it. Okay, first I'll describe these sources, which I still can continue to consider to be uh, good sources. Although Michelle... I don't typically use because she channels off-world messages from a group called Galactic Federation. And we know in the Bible we're not supposed to use channelers. So I was surprised when God said, look into this. So 
Gene DeCode, uh, 25 years with uh, the Navy, a nuclear sub engineer, had a half hour with God in 1992, I consider to be a good source. Michelle Fielding channels uh, from Off World. She's like a spirit uh, meditation teacher. New Atlas is a uh, military analyst, Brian Berlectic. Okay, I think he operates out of Thailand. Now, all these sources came out with the same misinformation all about the same time. And that was China does not have a social score system, which is absolutely not true. So now, all three of these sources either received misinformation from their sources and you ask, how could Michelle Fielding, who's channeling an off-world message, receive misinformation? Easy. An AI sent misinformation to the Galactic Federation of Worlds. Easy. And the same thing with uh, Brian Berlectic with the New Atlas. My perception is all three of them received misinformation and put it out as being truth. or they were acting as active agents for disinformation for the White Hats. But I somehow uh, don't see Gene DeCode going along with blatantly lying. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But this is my uh, assessment. They were all putting out misinformation that China does not have a social uh, credit scoring system for its uh, employees and controls its employees uh, money and its uh, social access to medical services to education to uh, social groups yes they are 100 percent controlled so now recently and and this is uh how I'm able to come to this conclusion. In 2020, we had January to the fall. We know in uh, January, February, March, by March, uh, my perception had been that there was, that this so-called virus was a bioweapon and a significant source I had for that was two Texas A&M props, both of whom have 50 years experience in bioweapons, and they both said it's a bioweapon. Their uh, show is still on valuetainment. So if you go to this source and just do Texas A&M, or just do bioweapon and valuetainment, that show will still come up. Now, also by about May, I knew about the, um, the C virus. I knew about the ETs. And then in June is when I began my first YouTube channel. Now, during this time, we had Cliff High, who could go on the dark web and get information from the Chinese. We had Dr. Jim Willie. He's a PhD economist from Costa Rica who had contacts from China. And then we had Mike from around the world. Uh, he uh, is regularly on Pastor Paul Bigley's Thursday night program. He has his own uh, YouTube. I keep forgetting to mention it. Council of Time. But we believe he works for the NSA. Mike knows stuff. Okay. Now, this is what happened. So, then, over time, from January to the fall, we had, inside China, cell phone numbers falling. Now, in China, 
which actively and aggressively has a social credit scoring system with which it controls its citizens is uh, handled through their cell phone. Now their cell phone is a phone. It's also their social contact, uh, like a form of internet. And it's also uh, for their money because they have a digital banking system. And if you go against the government, they shut you down, which is currently being proposed in the United States. Maybe there's propaganda that's being put out. Oh, China doesn't have a social credit score. China is the model for social credit scoring control of citizens and control of citizens' money. Okay, let's be clear. Which the deep state puppet government in the United States wants to put in place in a few months inside the United States. No more cash for American citizens. We take all your money in your accounts. We give you a digital money account and we tell you when you can take money. Oh, we see you've spoken out against the U.S. government. No more money for you. Yeah, it's based on China. Okay, so they also use their cell phones as keys. And this is how they get in their apartment. It's how they start their vehicles. They have that one item. So when this information came out about Foxconn taking all these people in, stripping their clothes off, taking their cell phones away from them, and their watches, any, any personal glasses, any personal things they had, and throwing them out the window, uh, supposedly to put them in uh, uh, the hazmat uh, bio level one suits so they could work in Foxconn. I'm, I'm thinking this cannot be happening because what they're taking from their citizens is their citizens' identity because they use it with their cell phone. That's also their like driver's license, their passport. It's all in that cell phone. So yeah, China is the model for control of its citizens with a social credit scoring system. So when Jean DeCode and Michelle Fielding and New Atlas Brian Burleck came out and said, Oh no, China doesn't have a social score for its citizens. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are these even the real, maybe these weren't even the real sources. Maybe these were duplicate personalities saying, Hey, I'm Jean DeCote or Hey, I'm Michelle Fielding or Hey, I'm New Atlas. Maybe these were duplicates because that information is not true. Now, let's see what happened here uh, during 2020 and the cell phones going away. So by January to the fall, we had a drop in the cell phones in China of about 20 million. Oh, they didn't tell you that 20 million Chinese people allegedly passed from the C virus. Was it the C virus or was it other things that went on inside China perpetrated by the CCP against its own people as a test? Okay. Let's expose these individuals to a certain virus and then let's turn on certain types of devices and see what the interaction is. Well, the interaction as early as January, February, March was Chinese citizens falling dead in the streets in Wuhan and other areas. Oh, and it went on up to 20 million. Now, China then uh, enacted the uh, lockdown. And what they did is they welded shut 
the doors on a lot of apartments because they knew between the virus and the exposure to other items, these people were going to die. And it was possible that they would go into some type of zombie, uncontrollable aggression. So they welded shut their doors. Now, there was a fire in an apartment complex, and they let those people burn to death inside their apartments. But that happened in 2020. It didn't happen recently. So that's going on. Now, right. So, yeah, and James Neal Cooper uh, recently had a video. Um, that was just today. Oh, the lockdown is over. It's over. Really? And what you saw in this video, I'll link it for you, is this, uh, this major city of millions of Chinese people, a a very modern looking multi-lane freeway and you saw about two or three cars on it i submit to you that footage was taken in 2020 during the lockdowns now why is it being put forth as being current what's going on in china and what's going on in the united states because in the u.s we know that the deep state is currently testing a computer system to go digital and dr uh, william mount said yeah they want to make it active by july 1 of 2023 and in the next few months they want to begin taking all the cash from american citizens going digital and you can bank your life that the deep state inside the united states has a very active uh, social credit scoring system on american citizens yeah you could watch the movie eagle eye that would give you some insight also okay now so why is uh china this could be the white hats who are going through this propaganda era it could be the white hats who are giving this disinformation to gene decode michelle fielding brian berlectic with new atlas absolutely it could be to cover what now why has china oh when we saw that recent dust up between chairman z and the CCP, and we understand the CCP is going out of power. Chairman Z is in control. Now, we understand there are daily flights between Russia and China. And I submit to you uh, that these are communications between President Putin, Chairman Z, General Sorovikin, and we do not know the general who would be in charge of the Ukraine uh, military activity on behalf of China. Now, here is Ukraine, and this is Russia, and we have uh, Luhansk, Donetsk. Zaporonista Kursan that are now part of Russia. And we have along this border, we understand, getting ready to take the offensive against all of Ukraine. So along that border would be uh, uh, 500 to 750,000 uh, Russians. Sources for this are, uh, one is retired Colonel Douglas McGregor and others. Plus we have 200,000 Chinese troops who have been in underground bunkers be between Russia and Ukraine. 
sources for the uh, Chinese troop is Israeli News Live, Best and Taylor, and Hal Turner. So we see we have several things going on. We have propaganda, for sure, either put forth by the deep state or by the white hats. I'm inclined to believe that this propaganda regarding so-called lockdowns inside China, um, these protests inside China, I think that was all a smokescreen because once you examine the videos that are coming out of the uh, protests, and I, I saw some on Canadian Prepper. Well, they were all taken at night, and one scene they were showing all these cars going down the uh, freeway, honking their horns. Well, that could easily have been a video, and they put in the sound. And you, when you examine closely the videos that are coming out, you see ver ver very small groups. You see individuals holding up white sheets of paper. I submit to you, this was uh, not real protest. These were uh, just made up for video to put out to say, yeah, and the Chinese people are uh, protesting and there's no social credit scoring system in China. Okay, I submit that's all propaganda. I submit that it was put out around the uh, world, you know, look over here, but don't look here while we are actively preparing for war inside Ukraine. And when is that going to get stirred up, do you think? Well, according to James Neal Cooper, uh, China has ended uh, the lockdowns December 1. So I submit to you they're all ready to go. So it's good to uh, remain in prayer and to remember it is God who is in charge and he is on the move. I love you and I'll see you soon.